Hey everybody, today we're going to be doing some more of The Sims 3. We're going to be doing The Sims 3 Late Night. I was actually doing a bit of a tech test earlier. And I have to say, even though the 64-bit version of The Sims for Mac has been running fast, I think Late Night might be a, might be a cause, a, a troubling cause of what causes these performance issues. Because unless the tests don't repeat themselves, you're about to see for yourself performance is going to begin to lag. Let's go ahead and jump into the game. Go. Okay, so basically about a minute and six seconds, maybe a minute and five seconds. So our next test is we'll load into a save game for that, this character, because he's who we've been playing for this LP. So let me get my stopwatch ready. No. It's a bit of a test. It took 32 seconds, but that took 38 there. And I gotta call it as it is because I wasn't recording it earlier when I was 32 seconds. As usual, let's turn on our FPS counter so you can see what the dips are like. There's nothing really that I noticed from testing. I think the creative style works just as fast. You know, that's relatively fast. So that's not lagging, which is pretty good. So if we go into the high school, because that's like one of our tests that we do. This loads fast enough. I mean, that was a tiny bit laggy, but it's still much faster than it is on the PC counterpart. But the Sims 3 Late Night Expansion Pack is definitely starting to throttle this. It's, it's going to start getting laggier, I think, as we load more expansion packs onto this game. I'm almost tempted just to skip a few episodes and... Just load them all in and see how slow we can make the game. So we're going to go into the city world, which is obviously new that comes with the game. And there's like the new celebrity career. There's a few other new features. So this is the here at Bridgeport. Because wait till you see how long it takes to load up this world. It is shockingly slow. 32 bit PC level slow. So unfortunately, late night is not a great pack for this game. A minute and three seconds. This is slowing the Mac version down. Late night is the culprit. My loading times have jumped from 25 seconds to a minute and six with this pack. I'm gonna say if we can edit something that we can see if it slows down. Hey, we'll go for this building. Public school, let's do it. That's actually pretty fast. That's pretty fast, in fairness. Maybe it's just a big world, as Jaffy plays point out. Maybe that's why it takes much longer to load in. Uh, we'll play with this chop here. Let's see what the general performance is like. And we'll just have a casual let's play. And Effie says, call me Elsie. That I can do. So this is The Sims. That loaded in pretty quickly. I mean, the volatileness of The Sims 3 is almost charming in a way. It's kind of like, it feels very homemade, kind of like my kind of like my dodgy baking skills. I'm sure your baking is lovely. I stutter. I'm sure, you know, it's your imperfections that make you, that make, that make, that make, that makes whether you're a person or a computer game charming. So we're hopping into the elevator and I think there's some new careers with this. There's like the celebrity one. Maybe we could get a bit by... I never liked playing with vampires, but maybe we could do something with that in this game. Uh, maybe he can... Oh, you know what? In The Sims 3, you go into the map to get a job. Okay. Maybe he can become a movie star. Oh, I do love that. Okay, so this is my big complaint. The one thing, though, that I love about The Sims 3... The Sims 2, I never have really felt like did it, but The Sims 1 actually did. But I love when the game knows what other packs you buy and they use it like in the other packs so this is a firefighter station which obviously came with the sims tree ambitions and like the game identified that i had that game installed and therefore put a fire like a fire station in this world so annoying in the sims 4 how you have this gigantic world of sims and people all your sims in brittleton bay are crazy pet owners 
and like in Salami, in the Los Angeles world, in your in your magic world, in your, you know, your Windenburg, and your Willow Creek, no one owns a pet, but like they all own pets in Brindleton. But they did this in The Sims 1 though, because you guys know, if you had The Sims 1, if you installed House Party, and then you installed The Sims Hot Date, some of the lots in The Sims Hot Date would have the disco floor that came with The Sims House Party. Like That's like Sims 1 era. So if The Sims 1 can do it, I'm like, why couldn't The Sims 4 do it? Why couldn't The Sims 2 do it? Yeah, that's not, that's not putting it down. Hollywood is, oh, here it is. Oh, we already work in the Hollywood career. But oh, we're a background extra. Oh, why is our performance so crap? Well, this, like this is a cool pre-made sim. Like he's got a laptop in here. He's got a nice bat. This is a really nice lot. This is usually the type of sim I'd marry and kill to uh, get their dwellings. Head to the nightclubs and they'll be- Okay, let's do it. We're gonna head to the nightclubs. Jeffy played suggestion. So we're driving to the club, to the club, and oh, she's lagging. Look at that. Oh, that frame rate is just dreadful. Oh, this game. Oh, well, at least there's people here at the club. So let's get into the floor. Get into the elevator quickly. Oh, we're all piling in. I'm glad people turned up. Usually these things are coyote sims. There's people here. So we are here. This, I don't know if there's gonna be any celebrities here. How doesn't it show there's celebrities? Okay, that's the mixologist. mixologist. Mixologist is not on duty. Caroline Custard looks like she's money, so let's chat her up. Oh, she's a journalist. Don't know what we have to apologize for, but let's just apologize, chat. We'll talk about enthusiasm, about journalism. We'll talk about our new job. We'll talk about the computers. So it's Caroline Custard, she just isn't having it. Oh my god, three star celebrity. He's an old man, but yes, sugar daddy. It's how far are you gonna go from, from background extra to movie star? Excuse me, but now is not a good time. Unless you think you got what it takes, try impressing another celebrity. Everybody here is so rude. So rude. Oh, what skills do we have? That's a good idea. He's nothing. He's got one cooking point. Okay, we better. He's not rich, so we don't have wealth. Mm -hmm. Can we name drop him? Sure, let's go for it. Jeffy Cook. Oh, we're not impressing these celebrities. But he liked that. Let's just keep talking about film. Oh, wait, cheap drinks. Screw this rich guy. Let's get some drinks. Although, hang on, he might be liking it. Are we done? Yay! We should hang out more. Thank you. Get to know. But let's get our cheap drinks. Let's order Cherry Casanova. Sounds really fancy. And of course, my eye gravitates to something that's expensive. Like, I've clearly got expensive taste in every sense. Hunted? Hunted? Uh oh. It is always best to befriend a vampire as they can emerge at any time, such as now and they are too powerful to confront. Who is the vampire? Oh my god, this is chaotic. Oh, it's it's the green guy. He's kind of glowing, must be him. Oh, it's him. It's him, it's him, it's him. Oh, 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 what should we do? Should we get bitten? Oh, that guy's kind of cute, kind of good looking. Could start something up for him. Romeo, Romeo, come back. Oh, is he about to transform? And kill us all. Is he going to kill Alan? Oh, I think he's going to kill Alan. Oh, meet a vampire. This is our vampire friendly introduction. Let's ask if he's single. <laughs> the best way to protect yourself against dangerous people is to flirt with them. Because it makes you 
you're a runner. Oh, I think. Well, he's taking pictures and everything of Alan. Alan, you're in danger, girl. Dance with the handsome Romeo. Let's ask about his career, because he's really good looking. I mean, he might be more interested in Matilda, but we love a bit of competition. So he has a career in law enforcement. Let's ask about his day. He still could get on quite well. They're single. Let's dance together with them. Oh, with my phone, no. Oh, well, he's single. We like that. No, we do not want to talk. Please dance together. Oh, are we going to wee ourselves? Please let us wee ourselves. That is so embarrassing. Oh, he is going to piss himself. Oh my god. You run to that toilet. I have no room. I have no pickup game in this game. Are you single? You be the home wrecker. Oh, he's a tog. Oh, we need to stop dating these criminals. Please dance with me. All I want is a bit of dance. Ah, look at them. Oh, whoa, that was a bit of breakdancing I just saw there. Could you imagine me doing that in a nightclub? First off, with my, with my bad knee, I could never, but... Ah, once upon a time I could. Does he have work? Oh my god, he does have work. We need to go home. Click to go home, please. The steps he goes. Oh my god, I thought he just went to the bathroom in the club. Now we have to go for another wee. He's never going to get time to use his laptop to get his phone skill up. That might be some bills for us actually. Oh dude, you gotta go faster down those steps. I never animated those. Oh, will he even make it? It's one o'clock. Oh, there, there he is. Good for him. So everybody's going into work. We got movie stars. That's probably our director. Oh, we're just with Alan in the nightclub the other day. Our last night in the game, really. Yeah, we should work hard to get our performance up because we're in the red. That's never a good place to be in life. Even though the game is a bit laggy, it does, like, it's populating with a lot of sims. Usually when I play in this world, it's always a bit of a coyote, like, no one ever really turns up. But I'm glad there are sims, like, in the bar, in the nightclub. Like, I'm glad there are sims generating. So, that's good. Uh, where can we go in this world? I've never been in this library. Let's have a peek. Ooh. This is kind of a sad library. Is that the librarian? Violet Atkins. There's even a hairdresser in this world. I really love how this game can tell if you have other packs installed. That's so impressive. So it looks like the epic pie fight scene you just put on to make a huge mess of a set. Your bosses ask you to stick around. Unions would never let you do this in a real film set. Unless you're in art. Come on, give us that extra career performance. Yay! We're covered in whipped cream. That's always fun though. But the set is ready for next shoot, thanks for your help. We're going to walk home because we missed our little cab. Oh, there's a subway. So cute. It's <laughs> a cemetery. We got into a taxi anyway, even though we took the subway. So next day on the job, which is in 15 hours, we'll meet our co-workers. Got it. Thank you, HF2 cats. Although we're apparently we're best friends with Jeffrey Cook forever. And we're friends with Romeo Rick. Should we never did anything with them? We only met them on the dance floor. Don't know why there's something red around him. He might want to kill us. As does B.U. Merrick, he was the vampire. And Morgan Hemlock is probably a vampire too. Oh, we should just stay well away from them. Okay, so we're up into the bathtub. He's also an excitable sim, which means he gets really psyched about anything and everything. I actually never looked at his traits. And he is over-emotional, clumsy, perfectionist, excitable snob. Basically the trimmings of a, of, of, of a future actor. But we achieved something. Oh, he goes playing chess. Oh, we got a skill on logic. Please go to work. Oh my god, I can hear the bell beeping. The car horn. You need to walk down these stairs faster, bud. So these chaps here must be our actors. Because this, this is the new distant friend that we have. Obviously, we know Romeo really well. 
And we're best friends with Jeffrey Cook. I never even realized we were best friends with Jeffrey Cook, but we are. How is our sim doing in terms of like, when is he going to become old? He ages up in 17 days. That did nothing for us. Actually, you know what? Our performance is pretty damn good. I smell a promotion. I must say, the experience of playing this pack has been, it's, it's kind of unpleasant. It's not really fun to play with. Like, it's, it's super noticeable. It's, like, it's crazy how one pack can actually bring an entire game down. But this pack is doing it, unfortunately. Oh, someone's ringing him in his sleep. Let's answer the phone. Oh, wow. The Dish Showdown. The head chef at the restaurant, first off, why are you phoning me about this at 11.41pm? Which locals can prepare the best dish? Prepare something special and bring it to the restaurant. There's a cash prize for first place. Oh, but our one cooking skill point, which would be me, honestly. Let's do it. Where's the location? Oh, it's only across the road. We'll do that. Let's give them a serving of autumn salad. This is my first time experiencing lag like this in the 64-bit Mac version. I know I did an aerial view of this game. What's this game actually like in terms of its visuals? It's kind of pretty. It's not too bad. It's a bit ugly. Everybody kind of knows in late night expansion pack it's a bit of like Coyote Town. Usually like no one's around but you can see here that like it does generate a few people. Did I win? My autumn salad got me the cash prize. Super cool. There's no point going back to the house if we have to go to work. Can I just go to work now? Like, can you believe going to work early? Who goes to work early? Go to work. He's taking the subway. If he gets into another taxi from here, oh, he's just running for it. You go to work. I like that the world's very alive though. People are like working on set. We got four star celeb, Tom Wardy. Apparently meeting your cast members is a pretty straining thing. Yes. We will read this. Thank you very much. We will read this book. 123 bucks. Good for you. And we got ourselves the promotion. We went from extra to promotion of best boy. Okay, at least we're making a bit more money. But he has a long way to go until he becomes the movie star he one day wishes. But the dream is alive, my friend. I think I might actually leave it off here to tell you guys the truth. I have to be honest, I'm really not enjoying how slow this is running. I'm actually quite shocked that this one expansion pack has brought the entire experience down. I'm going to leave it off here. As you can see, The Sims 3 Late Night really slowed the game down. What a pity. Hopefully the next couple of packs don't slow it down. But I just want to say thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to stay tuned for future uploads. And drop me a comment below on what you think about the Sims 3 64-bit performance with the Notorious Late Night Expansion Pack as I just saw. Uh, let me know and I hope you guys are all staying safe and well and I will see you all soon in my next upload. Bye everyone!